Good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, I guess we'll go do some choring. I cannot find my chore hat, so I guess I'll wear my good hat since I'm just going to the barn. Um, I did write some morning blog posts this morning. Those kind of are my thing. Um, but you can go find those at chroniclesoffarmerswife.com. And Ryder and I will start walking down and we're going to chit chat as we go. So now the biggest question is, do I walk or do I dress? <sighs> hmm. It's not too bad. I'll just probably walk. Mm. So if you guys caught our live on Wednesday and was there, thank you. If you watched the replay, thank you. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> That helps us out more than you realize. Um, our channel is growing. It's still in the, the baby stages of the whole YouTube world. But uh, thank you. Thanks for being a part of our farm story. <sighs> My soul is full today. I know there's a lot of negative stuff going around, especially in the States right now. I'm um, just in the whole world. So to find that kind of peace and know where I stand. I don't know. I just, I, I don't, out here it's not, not quite like what it is in the, the big city. So for that I'm thankful and grateful and I know we're extremely blessed. So I am gonna go down and chore and pull Diamond out and work with her just a little bit and see what I can accomplish this morning. Maybe it's a little bit cooler than I thought it was. I should have at least maybe grabbed some gloves. <laughs> oh well. Um, it's not too bad. Hi. Good morning, Diamond. How are you, Scooter? <laughs> Leo's in the back stretching, I hear him. Ah, let's go flip some lights on, pull some horses out, do some choring. It's a nice, um, all that he needs. You could feed this solely without hay, but I choose to feed it. Um, it is a complete feed with hay built in for the unique needs of senior horses. Um, it is easy to chew, highly digestible. We, uh, sometimes we'll water it down if he's gotten, kind of got a more of a cold, but he can eat this just fine. So I really, really like it for him. And now I got new senior treats for him too. So don't forget about our Karina giveaway. Um, I'm gonna do the drawing on Monday on the 11th. So watch for that. Go find the post, go like it, share it, and uh, get it yourself entered.
Okay, so we'll start again because like five minutes of this wasn't videoing. So uh, today what we're going to work with is the saddle blanket and getting Diamond used to it, um, different aspects of it, smelling it, letting it touch her, letting it rub all over. She's not real sure about it. So I'm going to hang it over here while we brush her so she can uh, kind of get used to it, what it smells like, what it looks like. doing is this is um, just regular hair conditioner and water sprayed together um, I put it on their manes and their tails but it's good for their skin coat but also it's a dual effect because when you go to spray for flies you got to be able to fly spray them if you choose to do that so she gets she's just something you do every day get her used to it smell it. Um, it already smells like horses that she's used to, so.
You don't want to reward all the time with treats. Soft pats, loves, because then they just get fat on treats. So. kind of crazy. So you want them to stand there for any sort of blanketing. I might do this as day one. And we'll just do this over and over. And then Add the saddle pad, and then we'll add. So this is huge accomplishment for her today. Accepting the pad. Which also means that if I need to, I could blanket her if I had to. Um, she is for sale in March. She'll be at the Wally Brothers. And I will put that just information in the bottom. I believe she sells on the third, so. Ooh. Okay. Good job. <laughs> so we're gonna put out mineral to the bread cows over here on one of our uh, hay ground pastures that we're utilizing for winter grass. Um, there's a couple of them over here that were showing early signs, but they really aren't supposed to start calving until middle of next month. You need to switch them over to high mag. Yeah, so right now we feed all season Polina, wind and rain. Um, we are going to start introducing the high mag, probably what, in the next few weeks? I don't know, have to look. In the meantime, I'm also getting um, a calving box to put in the truck. So I'm going to show you all the necessities and essentials that we think are important to have with us to prepare for new babies. Mm -hmm. Hey Rose. Those heifers look good out here. All of them, all five. Okay. So the closer we get to our due date in February, the more often Jason and I will be over checking these cows. Um, we become OB bovine nurses. 
too bad these ladies don't have a call button. Were this this the pin that needed blocks? girls just looking for signs I kind of stayed home a good chunk of today with the kids. <laughs> um, not too much happening. Um, Jason's been helping one of our landlords with his dozer, so I'll throw up some video he did do. He didn't do any talking, but he did take it. So there's that. The cows are all migrating into the water tank. <sighs> Walk back to the truck. We'll go give hay to that other set. So right now, where the girls are, these girls that are going to calf, we are not haying this ground. Um, not putting hay on this ground. It is our hay ground. but we're not laying any hay down. There is a lot of winter stockpile um, out here. Um, we'll probably move these girls tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Jason's calling them so you can see them running up the hill there. He gave them some more mineral, so he wants them to see it. Um, but talking about this grass, um, we did not get a second cutting off of it. So we chose to winter graze it. And since we don't, I mean, there's still green underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's still green. And we, as we grow over the next several years, the grass is gonna grow better and uh, we won't have to do nearly as much hay as we are for the cows, which means we can sell more hay. Um, we kind of follow the practices of rotational grazing, um, not mob grazing. Um, we went to the Greg Judy uh, farm and the school and we learned stuff through that. So, you know, we're just kind of incorporating our own take on it and uh, getting there. It's getting there. <sighs> we did just start the cows at the end of 2018. So um, this is still relatively and fairly new. <sighs> These are our weaned calves. Come here, Ryder. He's hunting mice. Come on, calves! Come on, babies! Ryder, 
Tanner, come here. Come. Come here. Hi, Milky Way. <laughs> really just taken off, haven't they? They look good now.